What's up everyone, Patrick here, welcome back. And in this question, we're told that if M and N are the smallest and largest solutions respectively to that quadratic equation, 3x squared plus 5x minus 12 equals zero, we have to find this expression, M squared over nine N squared. So first step in this is we have to solve that quadratic equation. You could plug it into the quadratic formula, but uh, this is going to factor smoothly. And the way to do that, let's do it by decomposition. We have to find two numbers that will multiply to a times c, so to uh, negative 36, and then add up to that b value, positive 5. So what are the two numbers there? Well, it would be 9 and negative 4 right? 9 times negative 4 is negative 36, and then 9 plus negative 4 would be positive 5. So what we do is we decompose that 5x into these two terms. And then notice from these two we could take out a 3x, and then from these two we could take out a minus 4, like that. And then we could take out an x plus 3, and then we're left with a 3x minus 4 is equal to 0. And so from here, we can get the solutions by making each bracket equal to 0, finding out what x value makes the respective bracket 0. So we'd have x equals negative 3. And then over here, we'd have x equals 4 over 3. So out of these two, which one's the smallest solution? Well, notice negative three is smaller than positive four over three. So this here would be the m value, and then four over three would be the n value. Then we gotta take these and plug it in here. So we'd have uh, m squared over nine n squared. So we'd have m squared, which would be negative three, squared over 9 times n squared, which would be 4 over 3 squared. And so we'd end up here having 9 over 9. 4 over 3 to the power 2 would be 16 over 9. Right, you take the numerator to the power 2 and the denominator. And then from here, notice the 9s cancel out. We're left with 9 over 16. Another way is that uh, these nines could cancel out, so you'd be left with one over 16 over nine if these two nines cancel out, and then one over a fraction is just the reciprocal of that fraction. So whichever way you do it at this step, nine over 16 is the final answer.